one of the fastest and easiest things that each and every one of us can do to fight climate change is get our organic waste out of the landfills. In 2022, California took a bold step toward a climate safe future. And it all starts with what you throw out in your trash. Starting this Saturday, we're going to have to separate organic material. From Californians will instead be required to put excess food in waste bins. This is the biggest change to our trash since we started recycling in the 1980s. Across the state, more Californians learned how landfilled food, yard, and other organic waste speeds up the climate crisis. Where these scraps go next explains the why. For a lot of folks, this would go into the trash, and when it goes into the trash, it goes to the landfill, which actually creates methane. Methane, a short-lived climate pollutant which is 84 times more potent than carbon dioxide, a super warmer in our environment. CalRecycle estimates that organic material like food and yard waste makes up half of what's in California landfills and a fifth of the state's methane emissions. With the implementation of local organics recycling and surplus food recovery programs, California is pioneering new climate action. De desechos orgánicos a todos los residentes y a todos los negocios. California's new law is the biggest mandatory residential food waste recycling program in the U.S. What we're asking residents to do is really focus on their food waste and their yard waste. Countertop containers are an option to hold scraps for a few days. Before. The little green bit is the future of waste in San Diego. Escondido residents have been able to put food scraps in their yard waste bin since February of 2021, thanks to a new anaerobic digestion facility. In Bakersfield, every green trash bin in the city is dropped off at Mount Vernon compost facility, while grocery stores will have to donate food. Feeding Californians and creating green jobs by turning a damaging source of climate pollution into a circular economy climate solution. Who will be using this compost, the mulch, the natural gas that all of our kitchen trash produces? Everybody from our farmers in the Central Valley to our parks in Los Angeles and San Francisco and here in Sacramento to our government agencies and our private industry. We can't right now in California create enough compost to keep up with demand. New pro programs empowering Californians to do their part to save the planet. So every time we put that banana peel in our organic waste and it is turned into compost or a biogas and gets its next life, we are fighting climate change. A small change in our daily lives to fast track climate progress. A lot more people throughout the county are going to see their trash collection go from a single can to a, a can, a blue can, and a green can. What people should do is pay attention to their local city or trash hauler and find out exactly what the schedule is. California innovation, strengthening our communities with more food for neighbors in need, more green jobs, and less climate pollution. When California reaches its 75% goal, it will be like taking over over a million cars off the road for a year. I am very optimistic that Californians want to do the right thing.